Hello and welcome to Enchanted Ears. I'm Angela and today we're going to be making Haunted Mansion themed mini ears. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you can get our weekly content. So before we get started making our mini mouse ears, let's talk about what you're going to need. You're going to need fabric for your bow, twine for the bow to kind of help it stay in place, trim to put around your ears, a headband, fabric for your ears themselves, and we have this really nice Haunted Mansion fabric that I bought off of Etsy. You're going to need templates. So the templates are for the fabric and then also for the batting and the foam. And then also you're going to need these. Uh, you'll need cardboard, so an Amazon box works pretty well if you squish it down. I actually used the leftovers from our Bippity box that we bought whenever we did our Disney subscription box videos. Make sure you check those out too because we do we opened several different Disney subscription boxes and then recommend which one we thought was the best value and how we got the best stuff from. So these, you're also going to need the batting itself and then hot glue gun and glue and then uh, I think I said scissors. And the last thing you're going to need is a pair of mini ears. And the reason why I say that you, I mean, you don't have to have them, but the reason why that they're really helpful is just to help you see what the spacing is between the ears because whenever you actually open up the headband and you put it on your head, the ears get closer. So you're gonna have to space them out farther apart than you think you're going to need to. Okay, so let's get started. Off camera, I actually did all of the tracing and the cutting of the fabric and also the cutting of the cardboard. And the reason why I did that was just so that you have to sit there and watch me cut things. What you do is you take your fabric template and you will put it on your fabric. And you notice I didn't cut along the lines here. Uh, it doesn't really matter because that's just gonna be excess fabric that gets folded inside. So if it's not perfect, it's okay. Um, and then I also added a little extra at the bottom and I'll talk about why I did that later. But I pre-cut these with my fabric scissors and then I also pre-cut out these, um, which are for the actual template of the ears themselves. So this will kind of be, you know, this part of the ear. This is what I'm going to glue the batting to. And we glue the batting so that the batting doesn't move around. Now, uh, could you use polyfill as well? Absolutely. I actually saw somewhere that it works really well if you use uh, like a silk type um, polyfill but we had batting at the house, so that's what I'm using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my ears on here and then cut around, cut around the ear. And again, this doesn't matter if it's perfect because you're, this is all gonna be kinda covered up. So you're just trying to make the fill. see I have one ear, one side of one ear done. So this is going to be the front side of the ear and um, I had kind of a few layers of it uh, because again the batting is a little bit thinner so I am going to take the back of the ear and I am going to coat it in hot glue and again none of this has to be pretty because it's all going to be covered up. All right and then I'm going to place the batting on top, smush it down, and that's it. And again, I didn't glue all the layers together because that's not really necessary. You just need it so that it holds still whenever you put the fabric on it. Now I'm going to flip this over and put it on the front side. And you can actually see I labeled my fabric with a T or t I also wrote the word top on some of them because the bottom part, it has extra fabric and I did that on purpose. So I'm going to kind of put this down here. And a uh, really good tip it, for this part right here is you actually glue the top part first and leave the sides till later because again, uh, hot glue dries pretty quickly, but the most critical part to getting a good ear is getting the top. So I'm gonna put all that down and then start pressing it in.
Okay, now that I have the top and I've kind of pulled it, I pulled it pretty tight, I am going to get the sides now. Make sure it's taut and then <laughs> try to keep all the hot glue off your fingers if you can. Now you can see that besides a mess, I also have <laughs> an ear. So um, looks pretty good and almost looks like it has spider webs on it, which I totally did on purpose. And then I am actually on this side, so this is going to be the front, I am going to glue this bottom part down. So I'm going to glue along the batting line. And I'm gonna, just for fun, because I love hot glue so much, I'm gonna put it there. I'm not going to pull this one very tight at all. I'm going to leave a good bit of extra. And also as it's drying, I am going to kind of set it against my ear to see if I can adjust just a little bit because I want it to lay pretty flat. I think this is kind of the advantage of using polyfill to using batting because I think that polyfill does a better job of making your ears just a little bit more flush. Now, you'll see I have all this extra fabric, so all I'm gonna do is, I could glue it down, but we all, we know how much this hot glue gun and I get along, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that excess off. This is going to be, again, the front of the ear, so now we have to make the back. Now you see we have this extra part here at the bottom again. Instead of gluing it up here, we're actually going to leave this extra and I will, it will help your ears to be a little bit more sturdy so in the long run. So we are going to put them together like a cookie. We're going to sandwich them together and then we're going to glue it. I'm gonna coat this with hot glue. Try not to get it too close to the edges and the reason for that is you don't want to get it everywhere. All right, I just ran out of hot glue, so that will be good enough. And then put it together lightly, and then sort of just make sure that you're bringing it together. And again, I did put a little bit extra right there, a little bit too much. And don't worry if you are seeing little bits of it, like I can see it right there. Uh, because we are going to be covering up the seams. So now we have this ear done, and like I said earlier, I actually made the other ear earlier because I'm, it's just rinse and repeat. So instead of you sitting there and watching me make the second ear, I already made this one. So now we're on to the part where we can actually start getting it onto the headband. So let's address this little extra bit right here. What we're going to do with that extra bit is we're gonna actually wrap it around the ear and under and that way it will help with holding your ear a little bit more steady. I'm going to try my hardest to get it along this line right here and I am going to put a lot of glue. And I'm going to try to keep it away from the front because again whenever I plop this on I don't want I don't want it really shooting through to the front of the headband. That's my hope. Then I'm gonna give it a few extra seconds to even dry a little bit. So while it's doing that, while it's drying a little bit, I am going to take my headband and check out right about where I need to put it, which is right about right here. Smush it down so that it stays nice on the ear. So now I'm just going to take this extra fabric and you can see I made it a little tiny bit long, so I think what I'm going to do with it is just cut it a little bit more. So that I can glue it to the inside of the headband. So I'm gonna try it not to ruin my my mini ears. And I'm gonna put glue fabric right 
So again, you do this just for a little bit of extra stability on your ears. It will help make sure that they are held on very well. And of course, nobody sees the underside of your headband, so it's perfect. So now what we have to do is just get ready for that second ear. So I'm gonna roughly, so I will be roughly placing it right over here, I believe. So I'm actually going to take my pencil I'm going to mark about where I'm going to put this ear. And that way I don't lose it. Okay, and same thing. Try not to put it too much in the front. I'm going to get it kind of in the back along this line and on the batting. And then I'm going to look for that line that I made, make sure I put my ears in the right direction. So I want the front kind of finished, nice looking side. So be right there. Be careful to not place the ears down before you know where you want them. So I want my ears right here. So I'm going to press down right there. Okay, and kind of make sure they're about even on the top. Pull this part even a little bit in the back, kind of pulling it under so that the fabric looks nice next part is of course gluing that underside so again I put it on the fabric not on the headband because the fa fabric doesn't take up a whole the whole bottom part of the headband now I'm just going to spread it and press it down again I'm pulling it relatively tight what the next part is is cutting this trim to put around it so I'm going to just take a little tiny bead of glue and I'm gonna put it right there at the base because I just want to make sure I glue this part down so I can cut the rest now you're going to kind of um, fill in this crack right here and of course don't do you don't have to do the whole ear just do small segments and just fill it in and then you're gonna set this right on top so you don't want to do um, push it in because then it won't look very good All right, so now we're ready to make the mini mouse bow because what are ears, mini ears, if they don't have the bow? This kind of makes the Mickey ears, huh? So we want to put a bow on this. So I have this really nice orange fabric because hey, this is around Halloween time and it's Haunted Mansion. So let's have a nice pretty orange bow with this sparkly sequins. All right, so first thing that you want to do is get your eight and a half or eight by 11 fabric I'm gonna fold it in half sideways so these are going to be the sides and I'm gonna kind of spread it out just a little bit because this is going to be the width of my bow so I want my bow to be about that wide then I'm going to fold it up and then fold it down so now we have a really nice size pretty much for a bow if you notice my this bow is a about that size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and then fold it up then I'm gonna flip the fabric over and then fold this side up so it's an, like an accordion and you notice if I pinch it in the middle I get a really nice looking bow so now I'm going to take that twine that I talked about earlier and I am going to use that twine to help just hold the bow where it needs to be and then I can also adjust it a little bit. So you need to tie a knot around it and you'll notice I did not tie a very tight knot. That's okay because while I wrap it around I will make it nice and tight. I have a lot of extra 
So I'm going to kind of do this one more time. Oopsies. And then tie it. And then I am going to take an extra piece of fabric that I cut ahead of time. I'm actually going to roll it because it's a little bit thick whenever I just fold it in half. So I kind of want it to be roughly like a little bit less than an inch. So I'm going to take this and I am going to use my trusty glue to help hold it down. And make sure as you're doing this, you're pulling it pretty tightly. Perfection. Now, I'm not gonna cut it super short, but I am gonna cut a large portion of it off. Now, I have this really nice bow. I'm going to wrap it around one more time. The part that's not showing is where the bottom and the extra of the, the excess of the bow is. So I'm going to glue that down and attempt not to burn myself yet again. So now this part that is going to be covered, I'm going to cut it off. bow and all I have to do now is stick it to the ears and then we will be finished and I am going to apply a relatively liberal amount but not too much hopefully a bit of hot glue which will clean up the excess from the back let it dry a little bit because I don't want it to be super wet when I stick it on and then I am going to very carefully figure out where I want it placed and place it down on the headband. And then the last step here is just to see what they look like when they are on. So let's go. I love them. Okay, this is awesome. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you have a really excellent time making your own ears, and be sure to check out our other DIY videos. We had a blast making those tie-dye t-shirts. Have a fantastic day.